Step 11. In the trees worksheet, format the range A14 to G42. So I'm going to click on A14. I'm going to hold my mouse down and go all the way to A42. I'm sorry, G42. As a table with headers. I'm going to go to Insert. I'm going to select Table. And in that pop-up dialog box, I want to make sure my table has headers. I want to apply table style light 19. Now last time we did this, we came way over here and that was 20. But we want to be on this one, which is light green 19. So you do want to hover your mouse till you can see those different table styles. Insert a title row. So if we're on design and clicked on our table, we can go right here and click total row. Filter the categories for evergreens. So we're going to come to categories, click here, select all, and click only evergreens. And we'll come down to four records. And then sum the quantity in the stock column. So our stock column is right here. And we want to click up with a, we hit the pull down. When we hit that cell, we get our pull down menu here. We want to click sum and record the results in B11. So B11 is right here. We want it to equal our cell A43. And so we say equals and we click cell A43. And it says in the table, you want the total number of quantity in stock. And yes, we do. 583. That is the end of step 11. Now, of course, it's having us undo what we did, just did. So it wants us to clear the filter. Remember, we apply the filter categories. We came at, come back over here to cell F14. We click our filter, and then we want to go ahead and add all those back in. To, we've selected all and click OK. Then sort the table for item number column from smallest to largest. Our item number is right here. We're going to click on that pull down filter and go smallest to largest or ascending. On the page label tab, we'll come up here to page layout on the fifth tab. And it's asking us to print titles. Print titles so that row 14 repeats at the top of the page and save your workout um, worksheet. So we want rows to repeat. We click here. We want A14 to G14. And we want it to repeat at the top of our pages. And we could actually click Print Preview and see how our titles are going to print at the top of our pages. And there they are. Hmm. Let me go back in there to print titles. I see what we forgot. You know what we forgot? We need A14 to G14, and we need to make an absolute cell reference value. We only want to put pull from A14 to G14. So we're going to highlight that and click the F4 key, or you could put dollar signs around your columns. And, and let's see if we had a print preview correctly this time. So there we go. Save your workbook. So I'm going to click Save, which saves both tabs. Okay. Step 13, we're going to group two worksheets. To group the two worksheets, you click one tab, hold your Shift key, and click the second tab. So now when we make changes on this worksheet, it will also, the bulb worksheet, it will also make changes on the tree worksheet. Merge and center your title from A1 
to G1. So we're going to highlight A1 to G1. We're going to go to Home and different than Word. It's interesting. This little icon right here means merge and center across the cells. Once you've highlighted A1 to G1, you can click that, and you'll see how it moves your title across those cells. Apply title cell style. So we're going to go to styles, cell styles, and we want to come down here to title, which is in title and headings. And come over here to title and then it's asking us to merge and center in cell A2 across the range to G2 and apply so we want to merge and center again and apply the cell style heading style 1 You'll see references to heading styles 1, 2, 3, and 4 in your APA writing. And this is similar. Auto fit column A. Okay. I just double clicked between the column for an auto fit. Center the worksheet horizontally. I go to File and Print. And when you're here, you can come down here to Page say it, Setup. And when you click on margins, you can center page. See how your table's kind of to the left of the center now? If you click horizontally, it will balance itself out left to right. And it wants us to have the landscape for the sheet to be, oh, the orientation to be landscape. I think we actually are landscape. Nope, we're at portrait orientation right here. We're going to switch to landscape orientation so it'll turn your page sideways. There you go. And that's the end of step 13, I'm going to say. We were here and we were managing our print and checking our, our um, margins. If we stay here in this part, okay, so we went file in this part page right here after we went file off of our worksheet this is considered backstage view not something you hear about that often but that's what backstage view is click on the left save okay we did that and then click the bulb sheet tab to cancel the grouping so we just click once didn't work for me I'm gonna click escape Hmm. Ah, I get, it, when I clicked on the tree one, it unclicked them. So basically, for them to be together, you hold a shift and you click both. But for what for you to ungroup, you click on one of the tabs. All right. Click the tree sheet tab, and then insert a new worksheet. So you just click the plus, and change the sheet name to summary. So we're going to rename summary. And then widen columns A and D to 20.63 width. So you can go like this and drag in between them and try to get to exactly 26.3. Or you can click the column, right click, go column width, and go 20.63. Whichever way works for you. Move the summary sheet so it's the first sheet in the workbook. So you click your tab, you hold it, and see our little piece of paper that's moved and our little black arrow? And we just drop it right there. You can also right-click and work with the Move Copy Dialog box. Um, that's the end of Step 14.